Hi, good evening everybody and welcome to Cooking Uncovered and here we are in North Vancouver celebrating Lorna's Yay. <laughs> first day of retirement. She retired Woo. from teaching. Oh, Cheers, thank Laura. Thank you, thank Miriam. You. And so, of course, to celebrate, what are we doing? We're cooking. Of course we're cooking. Of course. Of course. <laughs> what and, else? And Lorna has brought over with her some fabulous um, prawns. 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 Yeah. From? From Gibson, from the Sunshine Coast in BC. And she's brought these over, and we're using them today in our, what are we going to call this? A prawn? Gibson's, uh, Gibson's specialty pasta rotini extraordinaire. Pasta rotini, <laughs> prawny thingy going on -y. Okay, good. So, what we're starting with is one whole onion in the pot, and Lauren is stirring that up. And I'm just finished dicing up the uh, garlic. Now, we're using a lot of garlic today, right? Yeah, usually with the prawns, it can handle it. I think so. I agree. This, again, I've told you this before, but this is my organic garlic that I brought over from Give Reg's Island, yeah. which our friend Reg at school, he has a cabin on the... Gabriola Island. Gabriola Island. Yeah, and, not Vancouver Island. And this came from a farmer's market. So this garlic I brought, bought in the summer, in late August, and I've kept in a paper bag in a very cold place, actually outside of the back porch, to tell you the truth. It's the only thing that the deer and the, the raccoons don't like. And um, now I have this beautiful fresh garlic all winter long. It's perfect. Mm, so it in goes gorgeous. four nice big cloves of garlic go into our, our sautéed onions. It smells incredible. Is it? Mm -hmm. Let me just get a cloth. Okay. It smells so great. So, Laura, are you... <laughs> Have you, have you started to relax yet after the big retirement? <laughs> it was like almost instant. <laughs> I'm very good at it. Yes, this is, yes. seriously, this is day one of her retirement. Yeah. It's fabulous. So, we've got the onions in here. We're going to add, uh, this is about a cup of diced, what is this? Diced and sliced zucchini. 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 Yeah. And of course, I've told you about my famous mandolin. And, uh, that's not a, a musical instrument. No, it? no. Okay. Our mandolin is that beautiful instrument that slices and dices. Actually, I should come to show it to you. See yeah. this? You're asking. So this is my mandolin. It comes in its own little stand. I got this at a food fair some while ago. And see this? It just dices and slices all, and it's got all these different blades. Love this Wonderful. tool. Love this tool. Yes, I was. So I was sitting on the other side of the island, and you had that done in like five minutes. minutes. All of this. Two seconds. Zip, zip, yeah. zip. So to that, we're going to add about two tablespoons of diced um, anchovies. anchovies. <laughs> Lots of salt in that. She's retired, and I can't talk. <laughs> okay, anchovies. And why we're adding this is because it has a great salt content. Mm -hmm. So there we go. We're just going to lower down the heat a bit, huh? Okay, yeah. that's great. Yeah. 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 So we put away the salt shaker when we brought the anchovies yes, out, right? Yes, we did. So you don't need salt when you're using anchovies. You really don't need salt. To that, oh, you want to smell this? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm, you can really lovely. smell the garlic. Now, what we're, we're going to add to this is some herbs and spices. So we've got some the bouquet garni that I talked about on camera before. Thyme, basil, oregano, and marjoram. We're going to add that. Lauren is going to add that. Great. And a few. I think a few, yeah, a little bit of hot, hot chili peppers, chili peppers, and of course some cracked pepper. Oh, that's now, way too much. This is this is a dish that you can seriously get prepared within half an hour, and you get it in the pan. And on the back stove, we've got our water boiling, and we're going to uh, reconstitute our pasta because we've actually already parboiled our mm. pasta, which is kind of good if you're if you're having um, guests over for dinner. So it's just tonight. It's just Lauren and myself. And Carl, we're going to have dinner together. It's going to be right. amazing. And I have about, well, that's what, maybe a teaspoon? Yeah, yeah, maybe a uh -huh. teaspoon of bouquet garni. I'm just going to add it now while it's yeah, still and dried herbs. Herbs. That's the dried herbs. And Laura should add, do you think you should add these now? I think so. Yeah, just a just little bit. Just like yeah. Not that much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a little smut. Okay, good. Yeah. Sounds there good. Go. So, a little bit of uh, red, hot red pepper flakes. And then cracked pepper, Laura. You want right, to and we'll probably add this at the end as well. Yep. Okay. A little bit, yep, yeah, that's right. And what we have here is the, the prawns from uh, Gibson's. From right. Where, where did they actually come from? Actually, our neighbor on our, we have a we have a vacation home on a little lane, and our neighbor two doors down actually does fishing charters. And he went fishing, and he oh 
So caught these, a whole lot of prawns and these, they sell some to neighbors. These are as fresh as fresh can be. She just came back from the from the coast this morning, right? Or last night? Yeah. And yeah. brought the prawns with us. Perfect. So did so now to this, we're gonna add the prawns or the tomatoes first. What we'll go the tomatoes first. Okay, the prawns so, cook very quickly. So these are tomatoes which um these were four uh, on the vine tomatoes, uh, right? On the vine, yeah, on the vine, yeah, hot on the vine tomatoes, hot house tomatoes. Four of them. We're going to add in really to the rest, finely, the rest finely, of our mix. Yeah. Again, with our handy dandy mandolin. Yeah. And we can probably just up the heat there. Yeah. The, there's lots of oh, liquid beautiful. in the tomatoes. Oh, the the aroma, folks, is just amazing. Mm, this is yeah, amazing. What a medley of. So we have, we have the prawns, and we have here about a quarter of a cup of cilantro, which we're going to add at the end. And uh, Lorna has already grated up some um, Pecorino Romano cheese, which to me is an amazing cheese on pasta. So we grate it up a bit, and we're going to add a little bit more to the top, which is perfect. So um, we're going to get that going. And last night I made some uh, fresh focaccia. And that's mm -hmm. that focaccia recipe, Lorna, that I use with the near beer. Oh, um, you know, you, oh right. It's a fake right, beer. Right. So it's, it's basically three cups of flour to the one cup of beer, one and a quarter mm -hmm. cup of beer, and you use a little bit of yeast and a lot of herbs. So I use the fresh, my fresh rosemary right. out of the garden. Oh, And wonderful. I use this bouquet garni again that I got from the island. And any fresh herbs you have and you put it in and it is just amazing oh, bread. Wow. It's so it's we have beautiful. we have a piece of this beautiful focaccia that we've just heated up and that's going to go on our pasta as well. Sounds right? right. So now, how's that looking? Now it's starting to, to bubble a bit. Good. Which is a good sign. We good. want it nice and hot yep. before we add the prawns. Yes right? we do. We want it nice and hot. So in the back, on the back stove we have our pasta water and because we've already parboiled our pasta, um, the pasta will only take about like oh, 50 a minute, seconds? Yeah. Yes, a minute. Less than a minute. A minute. Yeah. Less than a minute to reconstitute, and then we're going to add all of our pasta to the sauce on this stove. It's going to be amazing. And a nice toss, I guess, after that. It is. It is, um, yes. So we're just waiting for the tomato uh, uh, flavors to infuse and for the water to reduce because we don't want a lot of water, but we do want a little bit of liquid, right? Mm -hmm. So, Lorna, okay. tell me, <laughs> like, what are you going to do with your time now that you're retired? Uh, Maybe you're gonna do lots maybe of maybe to cook some more. <laughs> I think I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow you, Miriam. Yeah. <laughs> it's been all. Oh, you, you must be so excited. I am so excited. And Lorna, yes, I, I highly recommend it. And Lorna is one of the most fantastic teachers in the world. She mm -hmm. taught close to me for so many years, and we took our masters together at Royal Road. So we're very well connected. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So do you think that's ready yet? I think we're good. Okay, good. So in go the prawns. Okay, here we're we go. Perfect. And how about the pasta? Should I put that in? I think so. I, I okay, think I'm going to take pasta. Because this yeah. will take maybe two minutes. And you can, yeah. We want the prawns to cook very briefly, just until they are no longer transparent. Yes. Right? So they so turn clear white. They, yes, they go from a white to a kind of a pinky, right? Yeah, an opaque color. From yeah. a translucent mm -hmm. to a more opaque, opaque color. Yeah. And it takes maybe a minute or two. And usually when you're cooking prawns or shrimp, when they curl, it's also a nice indicator that they may be cooked. Now, did I, did I mention that Lorna also, besides being a science teacher, is also a home ec teacher? Right, so, so I do she's, <laughs> So this is... <laughs> and I'm originally from the Maritime, so seafood is... Hello, no no Nova Scotia, the sea-bound <laughs> coast. Yes, she's, <laughs> she's a okay, naturalist. We'll spare, we'll spare yeah, we'll spare you the singing. Mm -hmm. So... What I like to do when we're having pasta, I cut the focaccia in beautiful little wedges that's, oh, that's gone beautiful. through, and then you just kind of, you have your, your uh, pasta dish, or you have um, your plate, and then you plate your pasta, and you use your focaccia. How's that going? Oh, it's, okay. it's almost so done. Good. It's almost done. Oh, it's it's looking off. Mm -hmm. It looks beautiful. We have actually a nice, uh, should we use the pasta bowl? How about we use the pasta bowl? Oh, that's a great yeah. idea. A great idea. Yeah, actually the prawns are now pretty much cooked. So I think we're good for the pasta. We just toss it to heat the pasta up. And we're ready for plating. Yay! I think. And with all these fresh vegetables. Oh, that's it's that one of the, it's amazing. Do you want to just let's yeah, show the... Can you see this? Yes. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
prawns, zucchini. It's beautiful. Everything's totally Perfect. fresh. Great. Okay, so into that we're going to toss the um, reconstituted pasta. So this is a whole wheat, whole grain. What yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah whole grain, grain uh, whole wheat rotini. 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 Yeah, so yeah, it's rotini. a whole wheat rotini, which is very nice. So that whole thing goes in. Lorna's going to stir that. Just toss it together with the sauce and the prawns. And to that, we're going to add, uh, Lorna's grated some of the uh, Pecorino Romano, which is amazing. So we're going to put that into the, actually into, I'm just going to move you over here a little bit. Yeah, um, I wonder if you can see that. Oh, can you see that, how beautiful oh, that is? Oh, it's just a gorgeous dish. Beautiful. And to that, is that ready to go? That is it's ready so to go. It's so amazing how quickly this comes together and half an hour, seriously yes. folks, half an hour, you're, you can have this. So we're going to put a little bit of the the uh, cilantro in it now, and Lauren's going to stir that in, and then we're going to reserve half of the cilantro for the top. Oh, this nice So we've got that ready too. to go. So I'm going to move this over. We've got our plate ready to plate, ready for plating. Right. So you and have a hearty meal, but it's gourmet. And it's quick, it's simple, it's nutritious, and it's a lot of fun with friends. Yes. Okay, there there's your spoon. I'll take that. Perfect. Okay. Yep, go ahead. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at the prawns. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. This is an amazing dish. Beautiful. That's beautiful. That's perfect. perfect. So to that, I think here's your cheese, Lorna. Why don't you grate some of that on? Okay. And then um, to that, we're going to add some cilantro to the top, just because we can. And a little freshly grated. What, was it? what kind of cheese was this again? This is Pecorino Romano. It's an amazing, an amazing tasting cheese. To the very top, so you've got your your focaccia wedges to the very top. Oh yeah, yes, a little a cracked little pepper. Sprinkling. Cracked pepper, and that is whoops our dish for tonight. So to celebrate Lorna's retirement, here we are cooking together on her very first day of retirement, and this is, we're going to call this Gibson's. What are we going to call oh. this? Oh, um, prawn rotini extraordinaire. Extraordinaire, and mm. here we have it. So folks, thank you for joining us. Isn't that beautiful? Cheers. On, on Lorna's retirement yeah. day. So, cheers. Thanks, cheers. Miriam. That Thanks was for fun. joining me. Great. Should we go this way? I think so. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye.